so congratulations for making into this video in this video we are going to get our data inside our application recyclers view so in order to use the assets database you have to implement a dependency that de let me copy that dependency go into your gradle script then build dot gradle module app double click on it and after that add this line of code into your app which is this library into your code which is this one okay and after implementing just click on sync after successfully syncing the project now go back into your application let me close all of these right click on your main package then create package and say it sqlite sqlite package click ok here going to create new class and i would say java class my tp class and you are going to extend sqlite asset helper and press ok in the very first step you have to implement the matching constructor so click on constructor i'm going to remove all these extra fields so when you create a database first thing you have to give is the database name so i would say private static final string database name and here i'm going to give the name of database that is sunset data sunset let me check what was the name of our database sunset app dot db okay the next thing you have to provide the version number that would be static final int and i would say database version here you will provide one so now i'm going to replace these values we're not going to use any of these values so i would pass null here i'm going to use pass database version and next thing i'm going to pass database name so we have created a matching constructor in the next step just create a method that would be public void get all data so in the very first step surround it with try catch in case we get any exception so i would say get all data and then going to concatenate it with this as this is asking for the context so i'm going to get context from here context context this dot context would equal to context and here i would pass context okay so in the very first step you have to create the object of sqlite database class in order to run the query so i would say object sqlite database class to initialize this object just call the method which is get readable database when you create any kind of database first of all let me create some space over here so you can see this when you create any kind of database first of all you check either this database is null or not so if object sqlite is not equal to null then we will do our coding else we would say in form of toast database is null with twinkle smiley okay so if database is not null then we will run our raw query that would be select some from sunset data remember the name of our table in which we have stored data was sunset data so next i'm not going to use any argument this query will return us a cursor object which will have it will have stored our all of data so i would say cursor so if get cursor dot get count is not equal to zero it means data have been returned else we would say toast and i'm going to say no data is great okay so if data is retrieved then we will say that while obj cursor dot move to next we know we are going to store this data which we are going to get from the object cursor and for that purpose let me create an array or a list i would say if this would be of type db uh, model class and i would say model class object array list would equal to new array list 
okay after creating the array list just put the values from the cursor into this array list so i would say string image description would equal to obj cursor dot get string which would be on index zero and next thing would be blob is of type byte so i'm going to create a byte array i would say images byte okay obj cursor dot get blob and this would be on index one here i'm going to con create a bitmap i would say our image equal to bitmap factory dot decode decode byte array and here i'm going to pass the images byte with zero offset it will start from zero and it will continue till images images byte dot length in the next step i'm going to add these value to our array list so i would say obj here i'm going to change this to obj which obj stands for the object obj dot add new db model class and you have to pass two parameters first one is image description and second one is our image okay so we have uh, all the values that we will get from the databases will be stored inside this in the next step just going to change the return type of this or uh, to our array list of type db model class and here i'm going to return this return obj array list and in this case i'm just going to return null and in this else case i would return null to and in this exception case i would return null as well so we have created our class in which we are going to get values from our database into our cycler view so that's it for this tutorial see you guys in the next video